mother remembers this moment. <laughs> For Heather Niederjohn, the birth of her son Caden came right before a hurricane. He was born one month prematurely. This was her commute a few days later visiting him in the hospital. You can see how much flooding her neighborhood near Houston got. It was just chaos, basically. It was not expected. I, of course, didn't plan. First thing that came to mind was, you know, okay, what's going on? This is a month early. Um, my body's not ready. I have, I didn't even have my final doctor appointment. Um, I hadn't even dilated. So um, it was kind of like, okay, what do we do here? Some believe changes in barometric pressure may induce early labor for some women like Heather. Dr. Diana Rackison specializes in maternal fetal medicine at UT Health in Houston. I don't think we really know. When we look at the research about whether changes in temperature or barometric pressure induce labor, the results are inconclusive. Inside Edition reunited many women who gave birth last year during Hurricane Harvey and Irma. So what should you do if you go into labor during the storm? Should your water break in the middle of a storm or a hurricane, the most important thing is not to panic. The most important thing is to stay calm and then to communicate with the physician and the hospital. And of course, then try to move as quickly as possible, as safely as possible to the hospital. As for Heather, her advice for expectant mothers. Be prepared, expect the unexpected. Make sure that you have everything in your home that you could possibly need. Um, things, you know, to take care of yourself afterwards. Kaden, mom and dad are now happy being together at home one year later. I'm Lee Sheps for InsideEdition.com.